Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Hannah and today we are doing this fabulous, this gorgeous, this beautiful, affordable makeup look. This look is probably the look that I would have ended up doing if I did go out for New Year's Eve, but I didn't because we're in a pandemic and you need to stay home and not go out and party because that ain't it. So we're gonna stay home and be be responsible adults and wear your mask. But anyways, so we're gonna do this fabulous look. All the products will be listed right down below in the description box, so make sure you guys do check that out. If you are interested on any of the products that are on my face, make sure that you guys do subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. I am struggling severely to figure out what I wanna wear today, so we're just gonna settle on this pink sweatshirt. It is big, massively oversized, so I have the sleeves rolled up, so if it looks crazy, I know. Where's my phone? so I can show everybody how crazy you look. Hold on, look at this. I, you cannot come up on me. Why are you breathing like that? What is wrong with you? She wants to come up. You got, go, can you go lay by your sister? Look at your sister's laying on. Just go lay by your sister. Okay, hold on, I'll be right back. Now that I have them tucked in, let's start on some makeup. So again, are you guys gonna kill me if I use my Jaclyn Hill palette because that's what we are that's what we're using today. So I'm gonna start off by zooming you guys in. That might be helpful. I actually did this eye look not filming a couple of days ago and people really, really liked it on Instagram. So I figured there's no time like now to actually just do the eye look. So we are gonna start off by taking the shade Bougie which is this one, and mixing it with Drama Queen. They are both a super, and I'll probably do Rider Diamonds too. It's like these three kind of rose gold shades. I'm gonna take it, this is the JH33. It's just like a natural bristle brush. I'm gonna just gonna tap into those three shades, mix them all together. Although it's gonna feel strange, we're just gonna take this color and literally put it all over the lid. Again, as strange as it sounds and as strange as it's gonna feel, I'm literally gonna take those shades and blend them out. So we're just gonna do a light wash of color. Then you can actually see a line right here where my concealer is. I'm back on that whole trend of doing that harsh line. I just feel like it complements my face really well. I'm just gonna do the other eye quick cause you know, we're already here. Also you will have to excuse if my hair looks a little ratchet today. I actually ended up switching shampoos and I didn't realize, and conditioner, I didn't realize like how much that affects your hair and like how you produce oils because my hair has just been like so greasy, oily, I feel like my scalp is dry, it's just a situation. I'm gonna take those exact three shades once again and I'm going to buff them into my lower lash line and I'm gonna do it pretty, like pretty dramatic. And again, I know it feels really weird because you're putting glitter all over your eye, but this is a look that I would have done if we were able to go out for New Year's, but I stayed at home, watched Star Wars, lived my geek nerd fantasy. It should look something like this. I know there's not like a whole lot to it, but Again, it's just supposed to be a light wash of color. The next color that we're gonna go into is the shade I'm In It, which is this white shade right here. But what's nice about this white shade is that it does have a purpley pink reflect. It has so much dimension to it. So I'm gonna take that shade on the exact same brush, and then I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna pat it on the middle of my lid. It's just gonna give a little bit of brightness to it. It has a little bit more opacity to it than the other shades did. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend it into my inner corner because I guess I accidentally already did that. I'm gonna do the inner third of my lower lash line as well. Maybe a little bit of my inner corner too. And then that, ooh, I got it in my eye. It's fine. This is the shade Disco Queen from e.l.f. They are these liquid eyeshadows. I am going to begin to just lightly dab that into my inner corner and kind of fade it out. Just, it gives you just a little bit more. Just gives you a little bit more. The only downside to these products, but I feel like it's very common with any liquid eyeshadow, is that it does have a tendency of lifting the shadow underneath. If you're putting this over a dark color, if you're putting it over any type of shadow that is going to be noticeable if a little bit lifts off. Know where you're gonna put it, put it on and just leave it. Do not try to over blend it or anything like that. You're just gonna have to, you're just gonna have to deal with consequences of it being where it is and that's where it is. I'm gonna take a smaller brush 
And I'm going to go into the I'm In It shade. That was that light kind of iridescent color that we were using before. And while I'm waiting for this liquid shadow to dry, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. Also, my eyebrows, I literally just fixed them. I just went through and I just cleaned them up and they're already getting crazy again. I don't understand it. I'm gonna set that palette off to the side. Let me quickly off of camera because I mean, everybody knows how to apply a liner. I'm gonna quickly add a liquid liner and then some, do I wanna do lashes? I don't think I wanna do lashes right away because we're gonna put the diamonds on it. I am gonna do a liquid liner and probably a little bit of mascara just because we can. And then we will come back in and we will bedazzle the eyes. Okay, I'm so sorry if the lighting changed. I didn't forgot to put on my other light, so. You will also have to excuse if the eyeliner looks a little fucked up. I'm well aware. We are gonna bedazzle. We are gonna start off with the Swarovski crystals. I don't even know what color or what shade they are. It just says that they are the Zerius flashback combo. Um, it's a shimmer effect. This is what the box looked like. It had a large and then a small. The day that I actually purchased these, I went to Michael's and picked them up. Okay, I shouldn't be laughing because she was very, very nice. I could have had a worse experience, but there was a lady that I was like looking through and I wasn't really like sure if I wanted to buy anything. She touches me and this is, this was probably around like October. She touches my shoulder. I kind of looked at her and I was like, excuse me? She's like, I just think you should buy them. There's nothing like a Swarovski crystal. They just reflect different. And I like laughed and I was like, okay, I shouldn't be mad because she was very, very nice. But also I was just like, bitch, we are in a pandemic. You can't just be touching people. That's not how that works. Whatever. I'm going to take my AOA Studios. This is the Super Strip Lash Adhesive. It is a dollar at Shop Miss A. I'm not gonna use my good stuff, even though that stuff is good. I did do this look previously, so I'm just recreating it at this point. So I'm looking at a reference picture on my phone just to kind of see how I had the diamonds placed. We're gonna start by dotting where we want the placement to be. So I'm gonna do one like right where the corner of my brow is and the bridge of my nose starts. There might be dog hair on these because they were already previously used, so they're a little sticky. Okay. Like so. Now that we look like a girl that has that bar between her, her her nose, what's that called? Is that like a bridge piercing? I feel like that's what it would be called. Okay, what's the next diamond? I feel like that took entirely too long just to put one on. Okay, so I have a smaller one right here and then a big one and then a small one and then I have a big one with a bunch of small around it. What I'm gonna do is because I can't, <laughs> I apparently can't talk and do this at the same time, but I am gonna turn on some YouTube. I'm gonna quickly do this. back I did end up changing the layout of the diamonds just a wee bit because a lot of the diamonds that I used last time were kind of ruined so I couldn't I couldn't really use them honestly I kind of like this a little bit more because I feel like it just snatches ya you want to know something you know when I first started doing YouTube I was like girl this is gonna be so easy I can I can do what the other YouTubers do. Girl, let me tell you, I can't. I struggle almost every single time I film a video. Somehow they work out, but most of the time, most of the time they don't. I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer because I did just put a tiny bit on. I feel like I need a little bit more. This doesn't even tell you what it is. It's just a bronzer that literally just says e.l.f. on it, but I'm pretty sure this is their primer. It says forever sun-kissed on it, so I think that's the, <laughs> that's the shade. But this is like their primer bronzer. I really like it. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that, but apparently a lot. And a little bit more to our cheeks. Hold on, my camera's about to cut me off. I'm gonna do a little bit more on my forehead. My forehead is large and in charge, and the best thing for her is 
bronzer for my blush this blush right here this is from the AOA studios this is the perfect blush and this is in the shade euphoria this this blush right here is a dollar on shop miss a and it is my favorite blush at the moment it is literally the best the best blush so I'm gonna take that and focus it more on like where my cheekbone is versus like the apple so I'm gonna put most of the color there but then I'm gonna kind of bring it up so the apple of my cheek is gonna be right here but I want to apply the blush kind of right there just so it does lift up my face a little bit more I feel like the apple of my cheek sits a little bit lower so going higher up with it I feel like it just lifts lifts the face a little bit more but I am gonna pack most of it up kind of closer to like where my highlight would be can you see the difference between this cheek how that extra color just does lift it slightly more versus this side I mean both sides look flawless because I mean it's me basically what I do is I just take the brush whatever is whatever pigments on it I'm just gonna place it on that higher up point and then whatever is kind of left on the brush that's what I'm gonna kind of bring down and then I'm gonna take that a little bit more do the tip and the bridge of my nose a little bit of the sides it might be a little crazy but we're gonna go in with highlighter so it's not a big deal do a little bit on whoa that is way more than I want that's fine whatever it's fine we're just gonna go with it I am gonna take the shade I'm in it which was that fluorescent -y iridescent shade we're gonna use that to highlight this is the f19 I love this brush I don't think you guys understand how beautiful of a highlight this is this on a dark skin tone would be incredible but I truly wish that Morphe would make this formula into a highlighter I feel like it would just be beautiful like more shades in this type of this type of formula That's, I, I don't know how many other times I can say the word formula I don't even know how well it's picking up but like that purpley iridescent look I mean it's just stunning you don't even need to talk about it anymore because it's that beautiful this is the epic wear liner stick this is the eyeliner from NYX is their gel formula and this is in the shade pink spirit I'm gonna take this and put it into my waterline yeah that just adds a little bit of something just a little bit of something okay let's go ahead and finish up our lip this is the shade well this doesn't actually have a shade but this is the lightest shade in the retro paradise liners that I showed you guys and talked about in my last video so I'm just gonna quickly line yeah it doesn't have to be perfect because we're just gonna go in with the pink gloss this is the elf lip pump plump I literally can't talk to you. This is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss, and this is in the shade Pink Cosmo. I like these glosses a lot. I think they're like $4, $2, $3. I mean, they're pretty inexpensive. Honestly, I'm really surprised with how much I've been using e.l.f. lately. I feel like a lot, I mean, my lip liner was e.l.f., the glitter was e.l.f., this is e.l.f., bronzer was e.l.f., I'm using a lot of e.l.f. products. I feel like they're one of those brands that's just like severely underrated. I need to stop talking while I put on gloss. All right, you guys, well, that is it for today's look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this basically just chill, nice kind of makeup look. I love creating looks for basically anybody to wear and feel like a true goddess. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Make sure that you guys do subscribe down below if you made it this far. You obviously enjoy the vibe around here, so you might as well join the family. Hello, gorgeous. We are weird around here. I think next video is going to be another Shop Miss Lola haul. So if you guys want affordable, cute fashion, bodysuits, any of that, make sure that you guys do turn on post notifications because that will be next week. I love you guys so, so much and I will catch you guys next week for another upload. Bye guys.